Wiki Tree. Welcome to our first monthly um, live stream. At Trying to get those anybody who's in a different time zone. We have Margaret and Chris already here. Hello. Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Margaret Bailey. Mm -hmm. Margaret and Chris. Yes, we have some we other some other viewers. To, Margaret, so to, she set an alarm for herself so she could drag herself away from getting <laughs> matching and finding family. Yay. Yeah. So I wanted to I don't, I don't think there's anybody else here yet. Yes, this is my kitchen. Actually, it's my roommate's kitchen. She owns this place. I just came out here. <laughs> From Aowib's kitchen. Aowib. Aowib. That's, that's a good new name for you. Aowib. It sounds like squib. I don't know. So where are you, Margaret? I think she's in... I'm not going to even try to guess. It says it's good for her time zone. I want to say she's New Zealand, if I remember. Yeah, I think so. Wow. I think so. New Zealand, which that which uh, then, so I guess, you know, bringing up New Zealand, I'm sure Margaret, you know, that is Waitangi Day today. The signing of the Treaty of Waitangi between the British Crown and Maori, if I said that right. Happy Waitangi Day! Yay. Right. Somebody posted about it on the G2G, so I thought we could talk about that. I don't know if you have any fun facts about that, Margaret, but um, I don't know a lot about it, just what I read. So, Also, another thing that we just learned about recently is Kirk Douglas died today at 103 years I old. Just had a birthday. I could be wrong about that. Yeah. No. Yeah, December. Mm -hmm. Check mm -hmm. his wiki. He just turned 103 in December. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, that's sad. I, I was pretty sure he was gonna live forever. I know. Um, I was reading about how you know he had a stroke, and you know they thought he wasn't gonna be able to talk again. Mm -hmm. But then you know yeah. he pushed through. Yeah. So you know, if you have the if you have the might willpower, you can you can fight through anything. I think that so. stroke has to have been like ten years ago at least. Yeah, it was. It was nineteen ninety. Six. When he had a stroke, I think I I could be wrong. I was just reading his. <laughs> Is that thing on about that? Because he wrote his book in two thousand four about it, so it had to have been before that. It's been twenty years then. Yeah, because I've been married almost twenty years. <laughs> Margaret says it's one hundred and eighty years today for the signing of the first document, but it took some months for all the Rangatira. Chiefs. Cool. And then we had um, um, on the forum, apparently, Captain William Hobson was the co-author of the Treaty of Waitangi, and he has a wiki tree profile. And he was the first governor of New Zealand. Nice. Nice. So, I think it's pretty cool. Our, uh, our New Zealand wiki trees are pretty awesome. They do a lot of really hard work, and they're, like, they kind of just do it quietly behind the scenes. Yeah. But there are, we have a lot of awesome ones down there for sure. Margaret said her first ancestors arrived a few days before that on the January 31st, 1940. That's real cool. How exciting. Where'd they Barbara, come from, Margaret? Barbara, Barbara Ray Venter, acclaimed investigative genetic genealogist, she discovered the Golden State Killer is from New Zealand originally, um, as is. Uh, Trying to think of the other person that I know that's from New Zealand. I know a lot of people from New Zealand, like uh, um, Michelle Patient. There's some other people from New Zealand. So if you're listening, hi. <laughs> well, Henry Williams translated it into Te Rio Maori. Mm. And we have a Maori. Uh, project on wiki tree too really yeah, i don't really realize about that. that it's in the uh first people's project mm. which is under the country projects now oh. mm -hmm. cool margaret said she her family came from england kent 
I've been to Kent, England. I have not. Me either. I haven't been to Europe. Where is Kent in England? I bet I've flown over it. <laughs> Boy, we're um, really hopping tonight, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Well, Woo! Well, we it's kind of like more... saving all of our excitement to talk about merging, trying to merging. merging. You want to do want to talk about merging? We always no, lowered our voice when we said merging. Merging. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we all love merging. I love merging. I mean, I live for it. I I I am merged from my parents' DNA. <laughs> We've all been merged, really, if you think about it. Yeah, really. That's yeah. weird. That's and weird. Re and recombinated. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, recombinate on on WikiTree though. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Um. So it's the beginning of the month, February. Yay! And one of the fun things that we do on WikiTree is we have different challenges. Like we have challenges like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. But also we have fun challenges where people get to do exciting things. And Max is going to share some of that stuff that's happening. I I wasn't told about unchallenges. <laughs> fun challenges? <laughs> unchallenges. Um so the connectors challenge. The connect that we have a lot of challenges that happen on WikiTree. And we all know about the um Source-a-thon, the scan-a-thon, the clean-a-thon, and those are really great challenges. And the whole community gets together, and we we party for seventy-two hours while we do that stuff, which is a lot of fun. But aside from those, there's lots of great challenges that go on weekly and monthly, every weekly, every week, every month on WikiTree, like the Connectors Challenge, uh, the Connectors Challenge. Um, and some of the things that the connectors challenge does is uh, picking a profile that has not yet been connected to the main tree and connect it. Um, so it has a puzzle piece icon or does not have a box at the bottom of the page showing a connection to King Henry, Tudor of England. Gets you didn't know about that, that if you don't see King Henry at the bottom of a profile, that they're probably not connected. Uh, <laughs> what's that? It's a quick way to tell. It's a quick, quick way to tell. You also have a little puzzle piece now, too. And yeah, a little here. puzzle piece. Um, you can ask, uh, add first degree relatives, parents, spouses, siblings, or childs until you connect another to another existing profile. Um, they have a post in G2G usually when the connectors challenge is happening. Um, sometimes it's July and August. Sometimes it's two months. Sometimes it's one month. I don't know why. Um, but um, they apparently like to stand up and shout connected to each other when they've done that. I don't know how they <laughs> hear each other. So if Margaret were to shout connected right now in New Zealand, would we hear it? I don't hear it. Don't uh, so it, there's lots and lots of great things going on with that one. The data doctors also have a challenge. Data doctors is, are some of our favorite project people. <laughs> And some of our not favorite project people, when we realized, like I did last month, that I had accidentally put the brackets for a template around categories. Oh, man. And Alesh Tritnik called me out on it because <laughs> I said it was a false match or a false uh, data record. So he wasn't my favorite person that day, but I love Alesh. So. Uh, the data doctors work on uh, getting all of the suggestions reports for our work done. And those are suggestion reports are based on mistakes, innocent mistakes, very innocent mistakes, Alesh, that we might have made while we were working on our projects and uh, helps us to find them. Like my favorite mistake to make apparently was, was forgetting to put an end reference tag on my uh, stuff. On my in my biographies, which made how could you do that? Hmm? How could you do that? I know it's awful. It's awful. 
I think that they created the Data Doctors Project just to fix my mistakes. You know, when we originally talked about it, that's pretty much what the heart of it was. It was like, Mags is never going to stop messing up stuff. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. I know it was. Will help fix this. So the Data Doctors has a great challenge. There's also a Magna Carta challenge. Now, how how interesting could a Magna Carta challenge be? Uh, to be to meet the challenges, you must answer the G to G uh, post every month when you can and who can play. Magna Carta challenges are open to project members and affiliates. So an affiliate could be, uh, I think I have a Magna Carta Baron in my family. Um, and you you work on uh, getting the Magna Carta uh, descendants connected to the tree and have everybody connected to uh, that. There's their teams like the Team Tennessee volunteers um, that work uh, on these wonderful Magna Carta challenges. There's also the 52 ancestors challenges or the 52 photos challenges. Those are fun. Um, yeah. It, anyone could probably speak better about the 52 challenges, but I know there's one person that's actually doing a 52 challenges for herself and that's Roberta Estes. And Roberta Estes has been working on connecting all of the blogs that she's written on her 52 ancestors to WikiTree. And some of her pro stuff is already there. Um, there's a couple of times where she found people that actually copied information from her 52 ancestors post and had it in the biography, which was really cool. Um, so another thing about that is I believe Roberta Estes is going to be speaking at the WikiTree booth about her little 52 uh, ancestors project. So there is the 52 ancestors and the 52 <laughs> photos challenges. Lots of fun there uh, connecting your 52 ancestors. Or if you haven't done it like on your own, you could have your own 52 ancestors project challenge going on your own. It's uh, kind of fun to, to compete with yourself. Um, let's see. In the photos, the photos are really cool. And a lot of the photos that we uh, look at in the G to G feed are part of the 52 challenges. Um, yep. and Eowyn's been running that forever, right? We've been doing photo of the week since before I was at WikiTree, which was like 108 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> and then we started the 52 photos challenge by Mirror Amy Johnson Crow's 52 Ancestors. And uh, a lot of people seem to really love it. It's been great. And we get lots of great photos to share. Has Amy Johnson Crow actually been working on WikiTree on her profiles? No. Um, we need to talk to Amy Johnson Crow. Yeah. Chris Mariano, you're on that. Get Amy Johnson Crow to come and do her uh, 52 ancestors. Speaker. We also have a great cemetery challenge, which for my part of the country is hard to do at this time of year. Uh, but uh, the Global Cemeteries Project is hosting uh, <coughs> community challenges complete with a challenge tracker. And the challenges are open to all WikiTree members. Uh, so you don't have to be a badge member to join the work or be a part of the project. Um, they have lots of lots of people uploading their information. We talked to Steve about the cemetery project over the weekend. And he was saying that um, it, it's all about doing it right, getting sources right on the information for the cemeteries. So um, our cemetery project is really a huge deal. And getting a, being a part of the cemetery challenge would be great. Any any of these challenges you want to learn more about, you can write challenges in the search bar on G to G, and it'll bring it up. Or if or if you know a specific challenge, uh, like there's a Dutch roots project challenge where they work on sourcing the Dutch um, pro, the Dutch profiles that are connected to our tree. We actually have a very huge, robust Dutch project on WikiTree. And when I tell people that, they're like, why? And I'm like, they're huge into genealogy, those people up there in the north. Well, they're a little bit more, more north than me. So uh, one of them was, uh, I can't read a lot of it because it's written in Dutch, but I do see mapping cartographers written out as, as one of the things in the challenge. Sounds good, but I can't read the challenge because I'm not Dutch. I'm sure that there's an English version of it somewhere. Uh, then, uh, of course, there's the Sorcerer's Challenge. 
Uh, I took part in those a couple of times or three or four more times so that I could get the cool sorcerer's hat for my badges. I love the little sorcerer's hat for my badge. Um, so the sorcerer's challenge is all about working on profiles and adding those sources and, and making a good uh, Wikitree profile that's well sourced uh, so that all of the other connections connected to it can be well sourced as well. So working on those sourcing those profiles is a good thing. Say that three times real fast. And there is an integrators project uh, challenge. And the integrators challenge is about getting stuff that's happened in, uh, in G2G, information that's posted in G2G and putting that onto profiles or creating the profiles, but making sure that, that there's an integration between what's posted in the G2G feed and the profiles that those associated uh, posts are about. So that's, I think, all of them. You have another one you want to throw at me? I can find it real quick. It's not up there yet, but I was going to mention. So we've been talking to some of the project leaders because, and I thought of this because it's the Dutch Roots project that brought it up. Um, it's the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II this year. Yes. So we're probably going to have some kind of challenge mm -hmm. that kind of commemorates that. Most likely something to work on profiles like World War II profiles from around the world, not just, it's not just a United States thing. It will be like a global uh, challenge. So we're looking at putting that together. Uh, Amy Johnson Crow has answered Chris Ferriello in our chat and she says she hasn't been posting to, to Wikitree and that she hasn't been on Wikitree in ages. So we need to talk to her about that. I'll, yeah. I'll find a bottle of blueberry wine and we can go chat somewhere in Johnson <laughs> Crow if you're watching. It <laughs> is, corner it's, her at Roots Tech. it's the worst wine. We can, yeah, we ever. can just bombard her there. What's that? Hey, Amy. We can bombard her at Roots Tech. Hey, yeah. Amy. I just also want to say we had David, Stephen, and Ray join us also in the chat. Hey. Hello. David is also, he's pretty big on the integrators challenge stuff. He's so. the leader. Yeah. Mm -hmm. David's just a uh, everything just is all over the place on Wikitree. He's a from cold Texas. Is that David? Yeah, that is. <laughs> David, you don't know cold man. <laughs> the South, yeah, we, we Southerners have a uh, not good blood for the cold. I'd probably freeze where you are, Mags. Yeah, it's minus thirteen or something like that here. So it's cold even think about that so that's over the challenges um and that was a great rundown we love our challenges we do they're one of the okay so i think one of the coolest things about WikiTree is the community for sure because it's something that you don't really find as much on other genealogy sites mm -hmm. so i love the challenges and i love the like the 52 ancestors and the 52 photos especially like it's cool because someone will post something and other people come and comment and like you know we're just so supportive of each other and our research and what we're doing and uh i love that you i just want to help each other yeah we don't have a merging challenge i know it would be an arborist challenge i just honestly i don't know how well that would go if we would have people compete to see how many merges they could complete. I don't even want to think about that. But were you going to tell us about the Arborist Project? I and can, yes. So um, I'm actually one okay. of the leaders of the Arborist Project. It's kind of in maybe not as full, as full blown as I would like it to be right now. But basically we're a group of people who want to make the tree better and that usually involves merging so um you know wiki tree is all about one profile per person and sometimes duplicates happen because of different surnames or dates or just people just coming onto wiki tree um, and making some duplicates so we go through and merge them and we usually the people who join the arborist project um usually be a little bit more expert had more expertise on it but what um, Jillian and I have been working towards lately is actually recruiting maybe people who are interested in merging and kind of taking them through like a skills 
page. Kind of, she was kind of trying to do what England had, you know, kind of having them go through a process of like, okay, start with this kind of merge, you know, maybe going through your own, your own surnames that you have and seeing if there are any merges you can do, and then maybe have them work on unmatched merges, see if they can find anything. Maybe working through some that have different surname variations, you know, having them go step by step so they can learn merging. Because you know, we don't want to be exclusive. We want everybody to be able to learn how to merge, and we think that's important for WikiTree. You know, oh, yeah. learning how to merge because it's very. I think merging is an essential part of WikiTree because you know we don't want oh, duplicates, yeah. but they happen sometimes. Yeah. Well, and there's all of those old JEDComs that were uploaded before we had JED Compare. And there's tons and tons and tons of duplicates con uh, associated with them. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Sometimes on I'll just one of those sometimes ones. I'll just go through the pending merges or unmatched or really old ones and just merge away. I love, or I'll go through like the last names and see if there are any potential merges. I'll just, I love to merge. <laughs> you are a merge. <laughs> Sometimes that's what my contributions are for the month, just a whole bunch of merges. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you guys have anything you'd like to add about merging or? No. I was gonna say, if you go to your My Wiki Tree drop-down menu, is that the one I wanted? No, I forgot. no, under your, the one that has your Wiki Tree ID, that drop-down, mm. the search for matches, and you can search yes. for matches there which is a good place to start. Also, we have that new little tabby too at the top, mm -hmm. the little navigation yeah, the it says matches. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of the things we'll talk about in the update is the new little tabs mm -hmm. at the top. Um, but most importantly, I think the most important thing is like, if you find a duplicate, don't panic. Mm. Stay calm. <laughs> don't get mad. Stay calm and merge. Just stay calm. I should make a, sh oh, I should make a shirt. You should stay calm and learn. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that's the biggest thing. Like, um, you know, it's, they're going to happen. It's just the nature of the site. There's going to be duplicates. Like, I think we have far less than I think, you know, we kind of catch them pretty fast. And a lot of the merging that's doing the older profiles, like Max was saying. Mm -hmm. But I think the most important thing is to not be upset about them because they're going to happen, just happen. And we're here to just assume kind of the best of situations and merge. That's our emerging tool is that we don't have to freak out about duplicates. Yeah, and then Margaret was saying that she's been trying to merge two profiles, but she hasn't been able to get in touch with the other manager. I'm assuming because it's a private profile, you can always reach out, you know, do the unresponsive profile manager request so we can get that merged for you. Um, cause you know, mer I, you know, we don't want duplicates, so we can go in and merge them if that's all that really needs to be done. So if and you want to. about merging that I want to point out is when you're doing a merge that the information that you put in for the reason for the merge, just writing it's a duplicate is nice. But if you really want to get the merge through, sometimes you have to put more information like the facts that you're basing the merge on. Mm -hmm. Like if there's a, there's a question about the surname at birth. You know, you want to explain why you think that this surname is the right surname at birth and, and stuff like that. And if yeah. you have a fact, post a source. And yeah. so that's a good way to get your merges in and get them done. And then the data doctors also have a, a suggestion where you can go through if they have, if somebody has a duplicate spells with the same name or the same date or or children with the same birth date or something like that, you know, besides if they're twins. Um, so we have Data Doctors has a lot of things to help with merges as well. Yep. Yeah, so. there's a ton of merging tools, like just asking G2G if you're not really sure what to do. I see a lot of those questions in G2G. Yep. If you're a longtime member, like don't freak out on people who are trying to merge, help them. Yeah, we have, well, well the Arborist project isn't maybe as full blown as, you know, we like we still have a lot of really active arborists on there that will answer your questions about G2G. Um, we have we have a good team, Mags, you know, and I'm then in the uh, Robin. Project, but I'm not, I'm not on the I'm I work on merges all the time, but yeah.
And then if you do emerge, clean up after yourself. No. Yes. One of the other things, like go back to the profile or it comes up right there so you can just do it right there. And just clean it up. Get rid of the extra stuff. Make it nice. Yep. You don't leave it for the, like if you're not the profile manager, don't leave it for the profile manager. You're in the edit, technically in the right edit there. field right now. Just clean it. Yeah. I mean, it's been easier now that we have that new that it merges the biographies, but sometimes yes. things get stuck. Yes. So you'll still have maybe two bio sections or something. So. so to sum it up, don't freak out. Merge. Clean up. Be calm and merge on. Be calm and merge on. Cool. Yeah. Um, it's Black History Month here in the yes, state. It is. It Happy is. Black thought, History Month, everybody. Yes, we thought we would share a couple of uh, profiles. Mm -hmm. uh, I, think had one. I think Sarah had one. Yeah, I'm going to share. Do you, I can share both of the screens for us, um, Mags. So yeah. we have two. Do you want to talk about yours first, Mag? Sure. Okay. So hold on, have to there we go. Doris Miller is a man. And he, is, he he's a man of African American descent. <laughs> Sorry, people just you know Doris. He he. The story goes that his father wanted a daughter, and they had already picked out the name, and so it, it fit. Uh, the reason why Doris Miller was my pick for Black History Month is just the past couple of weeks, he is the first non-president African American man like non-president period. No one has ever been named other than presidents, um, the destroyers or the um, aircraft carrier. And he is the first man who is not a president to be named, uh, have an, an aircraft carrier named for him. And he's also the, the first African-American man to have an aircraft carrier named for him. Um, he is pivotal in what we think about the heroic acts that happened at Pearl Harbor. This guy worked down in the galley. He was a cook, he was busing, he was doing whatever. And things on deck were getting pretty bad because the ships were being bombed. And he actually ran up on deck uh, and took over one of the guns and was firing the guns at the Japanese as they were continuing to bomb Pearl Harbor. This man, didn't have the training on the guns. He didn't, he wasn't a part of that crew. He was down in the galley and he ran upstairs to, to do what he could to help. And he did. And he is a, an exemplary effect. Uh, he's an exemplary account of what a hero is. Incredible. Awesome. There's a great picture of him. Mm -hmm. Getting a, what was it? What did he get awarded? Navy cross. Oh, he's, he was the first African-American to be so awarded. Yeah. Very cool. That and is he cool. was, he did, I don't know if you mentioned that he did die at sea. You know, he didn't. He did. He died at sea aboard a different ship um, after Pearl Harbor, um, it, which is a horribly fitting thing for him, considering what he did to be such a Navy person, have the Navy cross and be buried at sea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing, Mags. Yeah, you're welcome. I didn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't know about this person at all. This is a, and then what you were saying about the um, being named an aircraft carrier, that actually happened last month. Yeah. Where they named it after him, January 19th. Yeah. yeah. And I was surprised that, you know, his profile already had that on there. Very good job, Notables Project, keeping stuff yes. up to date. Keeping that up to date. Excited to see that. And then we have another, um, profile we want to share for Black History Month, Langston Hughes. <coughs> um, he was actually born February 1st, you know, the first day of Black History Month. Um, he was born James Mercer, leader of the Harlem Renaissance, poet, fiction writer, all of that. He grew up and born in Missouri. He also was in Kansas, Illinois, Ohio, Ohio. Um, his father was absent in his life, but, you know, he decided he wanted to be a poet and he stuck it out. And I think he did pretty well for himself. Now, do we, do, do either of you know why 
see this. Why he changed his name to Langston? I do not. Please tell us, Sarah. Oh, oh, that's his his mother's maiden name. Cool. There you go. Yeah. Learn something new. <laughs> I see a lot of artists do that. They'll um, take the name of their mother or grandmother and adopt that as their own name. So, um, and also there was some other interesting facts that we found that his, um, his maternal great grandfather was of Scottish descent and his paternal great grandfather was of European Jewish descent. And he also had some native American in him as well, which was pretty cool. So, I also, and he, he basically epitome, initiated Black History Month. You he's know. the epitome of the melting pot man. <laughs> yeah. So, Sarah, while you're on that profile, maybe you can show us the cool new. Um, <gasps> no. The cool new what? The no. button. The button. No, the buttons. These? Yeah. Do, do, do. So we have. Categories, comments, matches, and sources. Let me click on categories. Woo! All the way down to the bottom. Yeah, we're right down to categories. Zoom. Wow. Crazy. I love this. Zoom Schwartz. I love that it's on the top. And then we have all his categories. And then you can go back to the top. Show them how you can get top. back to the top. Back Whoop. to the top. Boom. Back to the top. Whoop. Whoop. And then we have comments. Woo! Do we have, oh, look, we have a top for to go back to the top. Whoop, back Whoop. to the top. <laughs> and then we have the matches. Let's see if he actually has any. No, it doesn't look like, at least not any rejected matches. Is there, oh, look, there's a top here too. Whoop. And then you have sources, which I think is a pretty cool um, little feature as well, because you can just jump Very to the sources cool. to see if there are sources, what the sources are, see if you can add a source that you have. So... Look at that's a lot of sources. That's a good profile. Mm -hmm. Nice. There's no top for sources, but we're it's still pretty much in the biography, so I don't think it's needed. So yeah, Langston Hughes. Yeah. Famous poet. He turned a hundred. He would have been. No, don't listen. One hundred and eleven. He would have been older than anyone. Mm, yeah. Just barely. I know. Just so there. there we go. Very cool. Bye bye. So happy Black History Month, everybody. Happy Black History Month. Now we were going to talk briefly about the new changes that Chris <gasps> was suggesting. Love these changes. You love changes? I love these changes. Yes, they're very. I don't know if all of you have um, read what has is being proposed. You know, he's getting the communities. You know, he wants everybody's opinions and ideas and feedback. So, um, so basically, is we want. I don't know if you also if you guys saw um, when Chris was on a couple weeks ago. He was talking about wanting WikiTree to be more welcoming to um, everyone. You know, to other genealogists, to people just wanting to maybe just pop into wiki tree for a little bit so i'm i'm excited i think it'll be good for wiki tree yeah well and if, if you consider what chris said about where we started you know when first when we first started wiki tree or he did that you had to get an invitation to be able to join and then it went to a member had to invite you for you to be able to join yeah that's how i joined i had to do that and it's it's changed it's morphed throughout time because we're so much more a collaborative society as far as genealogy goes that that is a big paradigm shift and and wikitree in order to make that paradigm shift even more important for wikitree we need to open things up for more people yeah wikitree is always evolving and growing, growing. yeah we're the, growing. the other hope that we have is we we would love to attract more genealogists to WikiTree. Like Amy Johnson Crow is a great example. Um, why isn't she, why doesn't she participate on WikiTree, right? Like, so we've and, talked and a lot Amy, about- if you've tuned in, I apologize for Owen. 
It's not so bad. Seriously, because a lot of, most of the genealogists don't. And that's kind of why this discussion started is it's like, why, you know, how can we get them, you know, to at least come and check the site and just, you know, not necessarily put up their tree, but maybe come and correct things on WikiTree if they see things. Join the community. Be a part of it. Like, talk to us about why you don't use WikiTree. Like, we would love to know. Like, so part of it was just how can we attract that them to come and not feel like they have to contribute everything, but feel like they can still have a place there, you know, to check it out or to participate in G2G or to whatever. So that's been a big part of the discussion too is, you know, how can we get more, more um, people involved? Yeah, mm -hmm. more of that interest in WikiTree. WikiTree has been around since 2008. Like we should be um, like a common name when people are talking about genealogy. Like genealogists should talk about WikiTree, but it doesn't, that doesn't happen so much. And, Unless it's Mags. Mags talks about it everywhere. <laughs> I do. I do. And, and just thanks to Amy Johnson Crow for her 52 year old sisters challenge because that's been a lot of fun. It has been. <laughs> Good save, Ayo. Yeah. So, so, we don't know. so no, I mean, that's been part of it is it's, you know, we're interested in, um, you know, kind of making it a place where they want to come to and participate at whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, you know, people have been kind of worried about the changes as well, but I don't, I don't think there's any to be, anything to be really worried about. Um, we still have, you know, we still have our foundation of, you know, um, you know, we're not gonna, you know, if you read our terms of service, we have a goal, we have a mission and yep. people who aren't, don't want that to follow that mission, you know, they're not going to be on wiki tree and, and still, um still are all about accuracy and sourcing and making sure we copyright and we make sure that we give credit where it's due that stuff's not changing it's just we're going to have more people to talk to about it mm -hmm. that's the hope yeah the honor code i saw a lot of people talk about the honor code that's not changing nope. yeah. just because people yeah. haven't signed the honor code doesn't you know it doesn't give them free run of the site mm -hmm. no it and doesn't. And I, and I think, you know, and I posted this on G2G, I think that, you know, when people start to get a feel for Wikitree, you know, maybe dabble in it a little bit, you know, maybe they'll be like, hey, I love this place. Let me sign the honor code and be a full-time member contributing, um, posting right. on G2G all the time. You know, that's, that's the goal, to get yeah. more to get more people interested and in Wikitree. Margaret just posted that, that some of the reasons that she hears from people who don't want to be on WikiTree is because there's lots of bad profiles. Well, you know what? There's lots of bad profiles on all of the tree sites, but WikiTree has had as its goal for a very long time that we don't want duplicates, that we don't want those bad profiles. And we constantly, we have people who are working on that constantly. And that's always my answer. You know, if you see a bad profile, fix it. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me it's a bad profile. Just go ahead and fix it. Yeah. Make it right. And yeah. people are worried about them making duplicates, these, you know, people who haven't signed the honor code, but we still have people watching out for the tree, you know, the rangers, you know, watching the to make sure. The greeters will still be there. Like the greeters aren't going away. There's still a lot for them to do. Mm -hmm. the greeters are my favorite project. That's because they're freaking awesome. I love the <laughs> project. I love they them. are they're our very friendly front line. Mm -hmm. they and they will still be there greeting the members, the new members, asking them if they need any help, guiding them along the way. Yeah, there's still people. There's there's still collaboration at the front door, people. Don't, don't get scared of change. I always love being at Roots Tech when I tell them that when they log into Wikitree, a real live person is going to say hi. <laughs> What? Yeah, yeah real life person. And then there is a, there is a, then they get a little comment from a greeter, right? Pretty much the next minute. Yep. Hey. yep. <laughs> yeah, that's a real person. That's a it's real true. girl. Yeah. Yeah. So that's not to say though that we don't appreciate feedback because we do, and there's been a lot of really good feedback. Mm -hmm. in the 
strategy that talks about that. But I, we have seen a lot of concern and we just want to say like, one, we do listen to what you say. Two, um, you know, like read it, let it settle a bit, then maybe come back again. Mm -hmm. and people read and then, oh my gosh, and then post. But like, give it some time, think about it. Yeah. Think, let's sink in. Again, more people, is, more people yeah. working on our tree and making it healthier is a good thing. Let me sum this one up. Don't freak out. <laughs> Read the post and then think about it and then reply to it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Crystal. Jim Lamar, she says, how do exactly do we greeters know a new person is on WikiTree? It is, it is magic. It is magic. They have a special greeter feed. <clears throat> so when someone joins, they see it and they greet them. Mm -hmm. Yep. Every time a new person logs into WikiTree, they come up on a list and the greeters are there 24 seven. Yep. Rangers too. Yep. You no know, people, people watching and greeting and helping all the time. And greeting, greeting, helping. That's not a country song. Greeting, greeting and helping. Mar Margaret says that she's mentioning WikiTree all the time on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, I, Margaret, okay. I, I see you're always mentioning us on Twitter, and I appreciate it. And so is Chris. Yeah, Chris does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chris is good on Twitter, too. And then, yeah, Facebook. I, I love it. Sometimes people get into these discussions on about WikiTree on Twitter, and I'm just like, yeah, go share the WikiTree. Another, another thing is we don't, you know, because WikiTree is completely free, we don't have a ton of money to spend on advertising. So we really do rely on word of mouth from members. Yep. If you're doing a presentation for a group, use WikiTree in your demonstration of how you're related to somebody. I'm doing that in a presentation tomorrow night. I'm actually doing a presentation on WikiTree tomorrow as well. I'm so. not doing a presentation on WikiTree anymore. <laughs> You're fired, Alan. Turn yeah. in your elf ears. <laughs> She's like, okay. Freedom. <laughs> oh, I, I think the last thing maybe is just Roots Tech. If you're going oh. to Roots Tech, we would love for you to come and stop by the booth and say hi. We'll all be there. Yeah. The three of us be there. So if you've ever wanted to meet Chris Witten, he would love it if you would come and say hello to him at the booth. Why are you pointing at me? I can't figure out how to point <laughs> on the damn thing. Oops. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> so Alesh will be there. Uh, yes. Julie... You can ask him data doctor questions. Huh? You can ask Alesh a data doctor questions. Yes, I'm going to ask Alesh. He loves to talk to people a lot, too. He does. And uh, Brian Casey, our tech guy, the one that really does all the magic behind the scenes. I didn't know we were allowed to actually say his name out loud. I thought <laughs> it's kind of like he was not to be named. Who was not be named. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I'm an elf, so it's okay. Um, Who else? Jamie, right? Jamie's Jamie will be there. there. Katie Goodwin, if you know her, she'll be there. Uh, Kitty Cooper Smith, she's coming. I bet yeah. Kitty Cooper Cooper Munson is going to be there too. He'll come say hi. <laughs> she's awesome. Roberta Estes will be around the. Yeah, um, do a demo. Yeah. And then we have uh, Peter. Peter Roberts. Yeah, Peter Roberts. Mm -hmm. Our booths are definitely come talk to him. Is Michael coming? Huh? Michael. No, he can't come this year. He's just started a new job. Oh, Julie's going to be there too. Julie! Julie Ricketts. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to meet Julie. She's, She's excited a to meet real you. person. Uh, in person in two years, so I'm really excited. What's that? I haven't seen Julie in person in two years, so I'm excited. I haven't either. Yeah. yeah, she wasn't at Roots Tech last year, so. No. Have you ever met her, Sarah? No, this is my first, it'll be my first time. So oh, wonderful, that. wonderful, wonderful person. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so that'll be fun. So come and say hi at the booth. We'll be there. Yeah, we'll also be doing a live from 
Roots Tech as well. We can treat live yeah. from Roots Tech. Yep. I will, I will try to be tweeting and Instagramming as much as I can during Roots Tech as well to keep all of you guys updated if you're not there. And if you are at Roots Tech, if you want to say stuff about us at Roots Tech, tag us, you know. Just say nice stuff. Yeah. Not mean stuff. I don't want to be tagged in mean stuff. Just, yeah, do at Wiki Trees so we get tagged in it. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Say it. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. <laughs> Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Watermelon. Wow. That's what it sounded like. Watermelon. Watermelon. <laughs> Word of mouth. <laughs> Um, so can I do a shameless plug real quick? Please do a plug. I am speaking tomorrow uh, night for the Ontario Ancestors webinar series. And my talk is going to be about DNA databases. What are they? How do they work? Who runs them? What's in the terms of service privacy? Uh, how do you use DNA databases in your research? I'm answering all of these questions for all levels of genealogists. And as a part of that, I use Wikitree slides to show different parts of my information. But did you know that Wikitree is also a DNA database? Did you know that, Sarah? Did you? Know, I, think I, I think I would have, you know, realized it. We don't yeah. actually take raw DNA data, but we have DNA testing information for each one of our users and that's auto populated through the tree which makes wiki trees backwards right ways round way of doing dna a really cool thing as you land on an ancestor's profile you look over to the right and you see a whole list of people who have dna tested who have a paper trail back to that ancestor so that's a good way so i'll be talking about that as well but anyway tomorrow night want to pop that up for me there sarah oh Sarah forgot yes. the link. Sorry, hold on. Oh, <sighs> Ontario Ancestors webinar tomorrow night at eight o'clock p.m. Uh, Eastern. Uh, Georgia, oh, there's there Meg. There I am. And the address time, right? OGS dot dot ca forward slash webinars twenty twenty. I'm gonna I'm gonna be there asking Mags lots of questions. <laughs> do it do it do it give her a heart like what is dna yeah give her a no I'm just, I'm just kidding but i will i want to try walk to mags tomorrow yeah that'd be fun yeah, it'd be good so there's my yeah. plug and who are you talking for tomorrow sarah for my uh genealogy society here in the, so i'm going to be talking at the library um they, I don't think any of them have ever used Wikitree before, so it's going to be a very basic, you know, intro. Like, what is Wikitree? Started in 2008, you know, kind of giving, like, maybe getting interested. Maybe having them sign up if they bring their laptops, you know. Where all the cool so we'll kids hang out. It is. Pretty much. So that'll be. I mean, look at us. You don't get much cooler than this three right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, to summarize, duplicates are bad. Duplicates are bad, but they happen. Merging is great. Get rid of the duplicate. Um, change is okay most of the time. Uh, constructive discussion about change, we love it. Mm -hmm. we constructive discussion. Courteous. Constructive discussion. <laughs> We love it. Um, Mags and Sarah are doing presentations. We're going to be at Roots Tech, and we're really super freaking cool. I think that's the most. That's the biggest takeaway from today. <laughs> yeah. So, and if you're a good profile for Black History Month. Share it in GDG so that we can all appreciate it. Yes. Or share yeah. it on Facebook. Yeah. Or Twitter. Anywhere. Anywhere, really. Or if you just want to email me, be like, hey, I found this. If you don't want to do anything else, I don't know. We have it. lots of options. And then I'll share it on Twitter. Who knows? We're all about options here. So I think, wow, it's been almost an hour. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about week tree. 
Oh, and if you have any topics, so we were thinking that for these monthly chit chats, we just have a topic that we try and cover. Like tonight it was merging. So if you have suggestions for topics you would like us to talk about, um, you can email me or Sarah um, and just let us know. Or, and or we will try. if you have no. somebody you'd like for us to interview, yeah. hmm, ask them to get in touch with Aon or Sarah. Yeah. And let's get them on and do an interview. They don't even need to have a wiki tree or maybe we can have them just sign up right there as so we're interviewing. I don't know. Who yeah. knows what can happen? There's like, so many possibilities, guys. Mm -hmm. Roberta Estes jumped in one day and did a during the Sourceathon. No, yeah. it was the Scanathon last year. It was a source of Sourceathon because she was talking about how to source your quilts and where to find the autograph, uh, the signature panel for a quilt, the, an old mm -hmm. quilt. There's often signature panels, so that was yeah. cool. She came on and showed us a bunch of quilts. That was really cool. Yeah, and like we love. Blame if any of you want to join us and want to huh? talk to us. Please yeah, if you want to hang out in the hangout with us, like we'd love to have you. Mm -hmm. We're pretty nice. Sometimes. Well, Alex isn't, but the rest of us are pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's just mean to me. It's just me. So. <laughs> okay. <sighs> you are worth that. Glad you were here, Margaret. Mm. Yeah, I'm so glad we were, we were able to reach a different time zone. I am glad, yes. you know. And if you happen to watch this after the fact, thanks for checking it out. And share, share it. Share it. Sharing is sharing. Yes, and I'm pretty sure all of you have known my cat by now, too. Yes, the cat who is Thank quite you. jealous of you when you're in your, your live. Yeah, she's like, oh, she's streaming. I must make an appearance. Yeah, <laughs> or my, my tail must. Yeah. Yeah. My husband calls her a shark. Sometimes all you see is her tail walk, you know. <laughs> so. All right. <sighs> it's almost time for my bedtime, guys. So I will. we will see you Saturday, 10 a.m. Yep. Eastern time. We'll oh, have another well, one of these. Lily McLeod's going to join us. We're going to chat about the England project. So that'll be really cool. Cheerio. Cheerio. <laughs> You're going to have Cheerios later? Maybe I'll bring Cheerios on and I'll eat them. I have talking to Susie. I will bring Cheerios. I actually make snack bars out of Cheerios. We should all have Cheerios. So we Cheerio. Cheerios. Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh if she doesn't watch this, she'll have no idea it's coming, so nobody tell her. No, no, no. it's a secret. Okay, Cheerio. Till next time. <laughs>